Hey guys, I'm Magoo here, and today I'm doing a little bit of Minecraft. Um, let me give you a little update of what I've been doing recently, and show you um, my newest like, recent builds and everything like that. Hopefully you guys enjoy. I probably won't talk as much, but um, I'll keep my mic on, and I might say a few things here. Let you know what they are. Alright, here we go. Yes, I do play in creative on here, uh, it's just how I like to do it, um, it's kind of my thing on this server. I don't really see it being a big deal to play in creative, it allows me to do whatever I really want to do. Um, right now I'm going over to the newest addition to my area um, that I built with my uh, few friends that I have uh, on this server. Um, I should f make that a dead one. Oh, yeah. Not friend, a dead one. So this is Magoo, what I'm calling Magoo Manor. Um, I built it originally on a survival server. Um, very similar version at least. Definitely changed some of it. Um, so far I've just got the outside shell. It is three stories right now. It could be split into a fourth on there. But I'll let you see. This is the whole outside. And then I'll take you inside, starting at the basement. Now you can see, I just had a basement. This down here goes into underground area. Um, eventually there will be a mine and whatnot down here for somebody who would want to use a mine. Um, I can switch game modes on this server if I want to. I don't really have a need to, but if I chose to play in survival I could. Um, this would be the second floor, or main floor. Um, Yes, this is a massive fireplace. I really wanted to have a fireplace in this place this time. So, I built one. And then, next up, um, I'm just gonna fly and ship the door here. This is the upper level, second floor. Yes, I do have another fireplace up here. Uh, since it's a snowy biome, I figured we should definitely have a uh, fireplace. Keep me warm and toasty and anybody else who decides to visit. Um, on the roof side of things, I like having a real big oven, but that doesn't make for good bedrooms. So I'm going to probably bring the roof down to about here for the rooms that I don't want open to have the open ceiling, which will be nice for those rooms because it'll keep them kind of enclosed. Um, there will be a kitchen and stuff probably in this floor here. And then the downstairs area will have like all my crafting and any redstone projects I may work on in here. Um, that should be there. Um, if I go out this way, I did have to do a lot of 
terrain editing and stuff, as you can see, some things are not exactly that great. There are some bugs with world edit when you try and do stuff. And yes, I do have world edit access. Um, I try to limit my use. I didn't really use it for building my house. So that's kind of nice. I use it mainly for train editing. And then over here, I recently added this iron farm. I actually copied it from where over my castle because it wasn't doing any good over there. We have four or five over there that aren't necessarily mine, but they are. Now this used to be three little buildings and then I decided I didn't like that anymore. So I made it one big building. So you got the chickens with all their foodstuffs. And then you also have the cart station. The sleeping quarters, which I've already showed you. This enchanting room. And downstairs, I wanted to build a storage unit. So I built a massive chicken infested storage unit. And yes, I said chicken infested, there's a chicken up there. Um, so that was something I really, really wanted to get accomplished over here. Um, the big uh, white tower here is um, what I would call my uh, just sentry tower or um, headquarters, I guess. It's just what I like to look out over the whole area. Now, I do have a couple friends, um, my friend Tarl and my friend Mandy, who will, um, who are building in this area. Tarl's base is here. I won't go in there without his permission, though. Um, I probably have his permission, but he just, you know, he's not around, so I'd prefer not to go in there without him being around. And then Mandy's base actually can be accessed via a rail line which goes here. Now, I don't know if you guys want to be bored with that, but I'm just going to fly it, because it's super, super duper long. And it goes deep down into the ground, about to block 40. And as you can see up in the top corner, it does, I do have the FPS and all that. There's a mod I have installed that allows me to have that up there and change the brightness and whatnot uh, so I can have a full bright screen. Um, I don't normally play with that showing, but today I just figure, oh, what the heck, just let it show. I don't really care. So we're going to fly over to Mandy's area, which this is a lot quicker. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. She blocked it off. to figure that out later. So we'll fly through this little crevice here. I don't know why she did that. Break this glass here. I did build all this, so... She wasn't ready to have that built, but I um, built a little bit for her, just so she would have something if she, when she decided she was ready. Um, this is her area. Right now, she's just trying to get it really flat so she can build something really cool, I believe. 
This is her little base, I won't go in there without her permission, but that's where she is, and it's actually a straight shot across here to where the other bases are. And so that's where we are there. Um, as far as the castle goes, I haven't really done too much with that, I don't believe, since the last episode. I c or, well, last tour, I can go over there. Oh yeah, I did do this, though. I, um, changed it. I figured out that the block was one block off for the whole entire castle. So, I, uh, world edited it. World edited the castle one block to the left or right, I can't remember which. So, it would be even. If you will. It's odd, but it's even. <laughs> it works. Everything's aligned. So, I took care of that guy. I had to get rid of a whole bunch of trees and stuff, which wasn't a big deal. I can always plant new trees. The castle, I feel the wall is complete. Um, I like having the little slits in it and stuff like that. I think that's a neat little addition to it. And then over here... My little house that I had right over here. Um, I took that over to the new area where I built my uh, manor. So see the house is gone here, and then the iron farm was back here. As you can see where all the villagers are. Which I can somehow, I don't know why, but I cannot kill them. But I also did make some changes inside that I just remembered. Um, not too much in here as far as changes. But, in this area, I added an up area with the full enchantment room. And yes, that is a 30 level enchantment. And then I changed the stairs here to a big open area into this massive storage room. So this, I completely erased everything that was down here essentially built a massive storage area. So I have to do a little more work on this now. I'm gonna have to add a new bedroom and everything like that. This door goes to the tunnels and everything that was over here. Um, the water f swimming pool, as I used to call it, has been closed off. It's no longer there. I'll build a new one if I just don't want to go out here to the pond area. Yes, I know the trees are cut off. I don't care. But I like having this little natural area. This is all under the castle, of course. We go back here. This is all for the f chicken cooker that I have in this area. So that's a sorter um, I originally built over on the other server in my uh, massive amplified area. So this is a small version of that. And you know, it's kind of nice to have when you have a whole bunch of chicken cooking all the time for you to eat. And then I had little passways into the main wall here of the, the, not the big wall wall, but this is just the main castle wall. So I changed that around to make it look natural, or well, normal. And that's about all I've done here. There hasn't been much other work done anywhere else by me on this server. 
however. So, hopefully, I can build a new path up to there. And get that all looking like it connects naturally to this area up here. It's my tower and whatnot. So that is what I've accomplished recently on Neowin, or Neocraftia. Hopefully. The music wasn't too bad in the background. You can hear me talking. Um, this video will be something special. I don't normally do this sort of a video. Um, I may record some of me building the interior of the new house or Mugu's Manor in the near future, so keep an eye open for that. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, share it with your friends, and please subscribe if you haven't already. Since I've been Migu, you guys have been awesome, and thank you for watching my video. Have a good day.